My bathroom looks like a crime scene now. Blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. Why is there even more of this shit? It's the tea room. The tea must flow. What's with this? Because I was going to say something, but forgot to. Er, oh. okay then. So, do I need to stay or... It's the start of the episode. Of course you're staying. But Marie, you don't understand. Ty is about to talk about her own feelings and that isn't allowed. I rather you do for now, until we hear from Jay. He's probably at school or work. He does those things, you know, instead of randomly bumming around here. Barco. Okay then. Well, if you've remembered what you wanted to say now, you can say it. But she said she wanted to wait for Jay. I remember a while ago, but I'm waiting for now, until I know where everyone stands. Where everyone st- A little glass vial! What do you mean by that? Like, how everyone fears? Yeah, I want to know where I stand in all this. In the emo corner! I mean, as Drapanen said, you could always share him. That would require them being okay with sharing, or knowing how to in the first place. Where well, I'm not going to say anything until Jay gets here. Actually, you're saying quite a lot, and it's annoying me. I wish you would stop. What is going on now? What the fuck did she just say? Is you deaf? Someone around here is going to go deaf if you keep screaming like that. Fair enough. I'll scream like this instead. <laughs> I'm not saying until Jay is here. If something has been decided, then I need to know. Oh, if it's true, don't leave me all alone now here. Wondering if you're still gonna take me there. Tell me what you're feeling, cause I need to know. Girl, you come, let me know which way to go, cause I need to know. I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, cause I need but Ty, you also said you didn't want to say anything until Jay got here. Maybe they're just saying that to flex at each other? They seem to be flipping and flopping rather fast. I deserve to know- DING DONG! Uh, I am busy. Whoa, dude, we thought you were at work. That's fine. Anita can tear me. So, what's going on? I'm not surrept. So, I doubt I'll be awake when Jay gets off work. So, um, Jay's here, you guys. Did you not notice his presence? I know I tried not to. You keeping yourself awake over this drama is your own bloody problem. Don't make it ours. Maybe she's an insomniac. This is what happens when you guys don't let me share my sleeping pills. Jay and I have decided to start dating. That's where we stand. I'm raving. Predictable. Over this. No, she has to go iron her dog. Or wash her hair. I think that's a wig. It's cute, whatever it is. Yes, I've already notified the others, because they are my family and care about me. I wish you both happiness, but leave me alone. And Anita, family doesn't do what you did. Rage quit! Oh, I see. She went to go water her toaster. So, who's putting this one on a 5150? Not it. Not. Oh, damn it. I only wish Ty was the only person I was having problems with. Hi. Hey, I love to stay in chat, but I'm on my way to go see my best friend, whom I haven't seen in almost a full month, so bye. Have fun. Also, without knowing, I ended up telling my boyfriend Jay's ex I'm with him now. Oh, okay, well, see you. She's being such a manipulative little... <sighs> Saying she would fuck him. I knew he wouldn't let it happen, but if something does, well, I might become a fit. Can I have plausible deniability then? I don't think anything will, and we both know I don't have it in me without letting the guilt kill me. I'm just very pissed. What a horrific predicament! I'd better have a miscarriage and die! <laughs> I really wish you'd stop doing that. It only gets worse from here. 
Here is everything that went down. How are things with you and JJ? Oh, sorry, Jay. I think he uses that name with everyone else. Why are you saying that? I'm just making sure he's treating you right. He is. He can be quiet. Insatiable. Quietly insatiable? If anyone's fucking up, it's me. What else is new? I archived a thread he didn't want archived and then I accidentally deleted it. So, he's a bit mad at me. Oh, he would never get mad over something so trivial, I'm sure. Or at least, he would never get mad at me over something so small. What, are we playing my quim is tighter than your quim now? Is that what we're doing? Then, you don't know him as well as you think then. He was a tiny bit meh. You're right. I know him better. I don't think his stem had though. It was more frustrating than anything. I think. You really are a lucky gal. I so do miss my JJ. God, you're a classless slag. I'm starting to suspect Ty put Neptune up to this. <laughs> it's odd to see him commit to anyone seriously. I'm surprised he, all of a sudden, out of the blue, decided to do it with you. Clearly you're out of the loop for a reason, you passive-aggressive, self-satisfied, trashy sig butt. He must be depressed. The poor thing. What, what do you mean depressed? What are you trying to imply? That Jay's biological clock is ticking? I can't believe she's taking the bait! Oh? JJ doesn't do commitments. And I've seen the man sad before, but when he gets like this, anyone is game. Then why aren't you throwing your knickers at him instead of bothering us? Sort of like a rebound, but worse. Oh no! Worse than a rebound? How could it be? Which is why I'm so surprised he's being a good boy. Arr. The reality is that he's probably not being a good boy and just trying to fucking eat us. Then you must not know him all that way. Don't say another word about him. Oh, you poor thing. Poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. I think I'm allowed to speak on my ex. You do know that they're called exes for a reason, right? I thought I was helping you see that you were nothing more than, well, entertainment for him. Something to get over our passing, no matter how short-lived it will be. Your passing? Did you die? If not, could you please? This is getting boring. I think Epiphany's a good influence on you. He might be your ex, but honestly, I don't give two shits. I know who he is as a person now. I know you don't care. You've known him for what? All but a few months, probably. Nope. Four years, actually. How sweet. Less time than me. Parvati on a pickle, why don't you just caps lock your jealousy like everyone else? This condescending preening bullshit is really tiresome. But... You know all about him, right? I don't know all about him, but I do know enough to know he doesn't say things he doesn't mean. Uh-huh. I'll let you believe what you want. Spare you the heartache when I take him back. Why not, too, and I think your taxi's here. Classic. Thanks. It's going to take a hell of a lot more to get in between it. Okay, well, you of course don't believe anything I have to say. His love is stronger than some old fling like me, right? Yes, not because you have history together, but because if you were really secure in your ability to get him back, you would not be peacocking to his new girlfriend. No, because I barely know you, but I'm smarter than to trust someone who's trying to manipulate me. Hold on, did somebody just- does she know what show she's on? Good. Keep that same energy!
you'd have better luck with someone who doesn't already have a manipulative personality. Oh my god, she admitted it. Which man do you, Jay, already knew about? So what, are you manipulating him into loving you? Yeah, I need to kind of step in that one. Yep. Oh, so he's just willingly doing so, huh? I mean, presumably. None of my sleeping pills are missing, so I assume so. Anita couldn't manipulate her way out of a wepepepa. He came to say he loves me all on his own. I don't have to manipulate the people I care for. I mean, no one really has to manipulate anyone except as a survival tactic. Most people just do it because it's fun. And you took it at face value, huh? Okay, you need to step now. Actually, she needed to stop a long time ago. I hate trash like her. You know, you have some very misdirected anger towards me. You know, you've been pushing a button hoping to get a reaction and you're transparent like cling wrap. When I'm just trying to be nice and warn you. No, you're an instigator. No, it's perfectly directed. Oh, honey. I know your cap. Jay's her type, I thought that was obvious. Oh, a free psychology lesson. Let's hear it. I'm no psychology student, nor have I ever officially studied it aside from self-study. Self-study isn't really officially studying, though. It counts as gaining knowledge, but the way that sentence was structured bothers me. I agree, Everyn. Excellent. I love it when people who aren't Falcon's other sort of puppets agree with me. Self-study is good. It's better than being lazy and complacent with what the schools saw fit to sell you. Humans are ugly and flared creatures, myself included. I know, right? That's why I tend to go for demons. Right? You ain't going to use this bullshit to rail me. I trust my boyfriend. You know what? I'll save you the trouble, hun. i I'm just a jealous ex. So she admits it. Nothing I'll ever do will get him back. Not with that attitude. Besides, why would he want me? Exactly, we were all wondering the same thing. He said I was too skinny for him. That's rather shallow. Not smart enough. Although he may have a point there. I'm 100% not his type. Hence the jealousy. So I'll leave you alone. Finally! And hope that we can repair our budding friendship. No, I think this little exchange has nipped it in the bud. Preventative maintenance is a good, good thing. Because you trust that he loves you, and I gotta take that for what it is. I mean, even if he didn't love her, trying to interfere in an established relationship for your own benefit is horrendously tacky. Why would he want me when he can have you? Why would he want either of you? Well, for sex, and probably for sex. Alright, when's his birthday? I don't even know if you're actually his ex. You could just be a manipulative little shit who wants to start drama for the fuck of it. If you suspect that might be the case, why are you even still responding? Because she loves drama. That's why we hired her! I was going to fucking ask. Or you could be someone from birth or past who hates me or something and wants to wreck things. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I don't have to tell you anything about him to prove myself. The fact that you even asked proves you aren't even certain about where you stand with him yourself. No, it doesn't. You should go talk to him now, not me. If you don't want her to talk to you, why do you keep responding? Where do you stand again from doing this in your first place? Driving your blood pressure up and giving you your very first heart attack, by which she hopes you'll drop dead and she can get her toy back. I mean, if I succeed, then I'll be sparing you, my new friend. Future heartache, perhaps. He's an animal, you know. Yes, statistically speaking, 100% of humans are in the animal kingdom. You don't know what you're doing with him. Maybe she can put on a schoolgirl outfit and have him teach her. But you said you do, so go to him. Look, I get it. He must have hurt you when you guys broke up. That doesn't mean he couldn't have changed. Why are you still engaging with this twit? Because she wants to win this drama. As far as I can see, they're both losers. Stop being right about things. But I'm so good at it. Oh, he didn't hurt me. 
yeah, you're totally fine with him tossing you aside like the rubbish you are and going on to date someone who's only slightly less rubbish. I'm not the one that's lashing out. I'm really trying to warn you about this. No, you came at her unnecessarily passive-aggressive. If you were really trying to warn her, you'd sound more like Sallow. You know what? Chicken butt! This is fourth grade. It certainly feels like it! Like you said, nothing will tear you two apart. So let's just drop this here. I did my job. You were paid to do this. That explains so much. Hold it! So, how's the weather? Oh, you know, cloudy with a chance of blank. It's always the weather where I'm from. I didn't know you were Jay's ex, but don't come to me, try to rattle me, try to make me jet my boyfriend and then act like it never happened. Technically, she's not acting like it never happened, she's just moving on. I'm not going to put up with that. Ha, huh, she just said she's not going to put up with moving on. Didn't I say it was a warning? Didn't I say it was a warning, didn't I? You did, you did. Yes, and no one believed you. Also, I told you who I was, and you didn't believe me. Told me to prove myself like you couldn't ask him yourself. I didn't know you were his ex before this conversation started. You try to pull this shit again, I've been your ex faster than you can blink. So hardcore! Oh no! The almighty Ben I can't take it! I, I need to have a miscarriage and die! Akuma, what the fuck? You'll understand next month, I promise. I mean, banning me only gives me more access to him. That makes no sense. Not like I don't have it anyway. Then why do you need more of it? His mother is wonderful. You have to meet her. If his mother's so wonderful, why did she raise a spineless little jellyfish? A oh, ruby. This new is actually can't wait. Then he and I will be spending Valentine's Day together. Oh yeah, you told me. I'll make sure to keep him clean for you when I'm done with him. At least someone on the show uses a bloody condom. He hates using condoms, for whatever reason. Damn it! I'm a wit, and that's not a problem for me. Why are you barren and perfectly immune to STIs? Of course it wouldn't be. You seem like the kind of girl to settle for sloppy seconds. Okay, firstly, men are people, not scraps of dinner. Secondly, you have no idea how right you are, Neptune. Oh, you're so cute. By the way, your words aren't going to have any effect. So, don't tell. I know that. Then why haven't you shut the fuck up yet? At this point, it's entertainment, because you keep responding to me like I matter to you or something. Ah, got it. Well, in my case, it's my job. I'm commentary. I literally get paid to do this. I'm not sure what Anita's excuse is. No, just bird, really. Then go play video games or something. I'm sure. Well, this was fun. Just make sure you keep this man around my business. Oh, I won't need to bring it up. People will draw conclusions all their own. You really shouldn't have let me get to you like this. Why did you run into my arrow? Must you be so clumsy? It's such an inconvenience. The only reason it got to me is because you were shit-talking my boyfriend. Well, he's also her ex. She can shit-talk him if she wants. What you shouldn't do is try to undermine your relationship to get him back. I don't appreciate anyone talking negatively on him like careful for any reason. Shit-talking him? You talked about him like he's a fuckboy. He isn't? Nope, everything is something you're not proud of. Not me, I have no shame. One day it's a pretty little Asian girl. A real Asian girl or a weeaboo who just pretends to be Asian? Coming into his work every day. And now all of a sudden, it's you. And he ain't the fuckboy that I so do adore his work. Could you redo that last sentence again but make sense this time? Oh, a real Asian girl. Okay then. But that is it when we'll always define a person. This man changes girls like he changes his underwear. Then I have some concerns about his hygiene. Trust me, you are fine for what y'all got. Something to keep him, you know, busy. I know he worked as a stripper. 
Wait, so has Neptune been slut-shaming Jay for his former profession as a stripper? Not cool. I knew he wasn't always a stand-up person. Not that stripping has anything to do with being a, um, stand-up person. And I also know that he used to sleep around. Also, having nothing to do with being a good person. I like that you use the term, used to. But then again, almost every adult has that period. Don't act like it's just adults, either. I had that, like, three years ago. And I've got a full-time job I'll be starting soon. I'm getting my life together. It's about time. I have a lot of wonderful friends, a sweet and sexy boyfriend, and my sat is doing well. Two of those things are probably true. Okay, my next question. Why do you continue this? Dude, she told you why she continues this. I can stop her spending. Then do! But so could you. You must be about as bored as me if you're keeping this up. Clearly, you're both very, very bored. I too am bored. And I know. I'm one to talk. I like the last word. Oh my god, she admitted it. Is there any conversation on the show that isn't based on last wordism? Let's be real here. But she admitted it. As long as you keep it up. Hey. <laughs> I mean, with that line delivery. Who needs Viagra? That depends. Raise your hand if your girlfriend's a Kuma. Hey! I have to respond in kind. Nyeh Mimi. Yes, really. Nah. ah Yeah, huh? I'm rubber, you're glue. Neptune's mom's a smelly shoe. I know you are, but what am I? Stick your nose in poopy pie. Anita. I'm really concerned that you about to just let me fuck your man. You really must not give a shit. Kind of like how you don't give a shit about being repeatedly shot. Not about anything you say, no. You can say you fucked him, but that won't be proof. Unless you record a live video or take a picture with the date and time somewhere in it. Kinky! The time and date can totally be faked on those things. I know, right? You... Disturb me. Senpai notice me! I'll do you one better. You catch him, you will regret it. Yeah, he's like Rogue from X-Men. Solid! Will I? Cause you just said you needed proof. You didn't even fight for me not to do it. Well, you're going to do what you want whether she tries to talk you out of it or not. And if she did try to talk you out of it, you'd send her a live video feed just to spite her. What's worse is that you know he'll do it. Which is why you want to come for me. I don't have to fight. It's not necessary for me to do so. She knows about the rogue skin. I know he only sees you as a friend. I mean, I fuck my friends. He got this cute little sick girlfriend who is totally sweet in the bed in the kitchen. Cute is not what you're made of, hon. Back when I was still single, I had this all the time. Men can be desperate, but most still have standards. Actually, you'd be surprised. Uh-huh. The only men who turned me down were gay or chicken. Or claimed they were gay or taken to let you down easy. Actually, wait, she complained once about a guy on the bus turning her down, even though he was flirting back. By the way, did you notice her description of herself sounds a lot more like us than herself? Now that you mention it... And I have more than enough tact and class not to go after another woman's boyfriend. SPOILER ALERT! I don't have to go after something I already got. If you already got Jay, you don't need to do this shit. You've been completely showing your ass this whole time. I was just doing my job. That's what the Nazis said! Really? Godwin's Law? You're better than that. I didn't approach you about this silly shit because I wanted to. Yes, you did. Take responsibility for your shit. If that was the case, I would have done so right out the gate. I don't think you're capable of being that direct. My job is done now, so I mean, that's why I asked you how the weather was. To change the subject. Yeah, shoot, you think he's yours. You can have him over my cur dead body. That's not a good threat, because then she can just kill you. Really? 
I think it's a fantastic threat for exactly that reason. Yeah, my initial thought was weird requirement, but okay. <laughs> Did you know that Mary Shelley had sex on one of her relatives' graves? Kinky! Marie, I wish you wouldn't incur- This is the sound of no one listening! Damn near had kids with the man, but that's not what makes him mine. You'll never have him like I have him. Then why are you bothering with this petty bullshit? Jay says he's known her for seven or eight years, and this is what he said. If you feel oh, like your feelings for me aren't as strong anymore, if you feel like this relationship isn't going to work, I want to know now and then and later. Wait, I thought we were going to listen to what Jay said. This is just more of you wittering on. Looks like Neptune got to her after all. If that isn't the case, I pray that I can start feeling your love again, because I want this relationship to work out more than anything. I told you everything I fear. I hope you can do the same. Uh, here's what I think after having a long conversation with my brother and a close friend. Why, do you need them to make all your decisions for you? Uh, I should not have chosen just because Ty didn't say anything. You should have stuck with your original choice and you should not be reneging and causing your girlfriend anxiety right now. Yeah, we really don't want to hear it. Uh, I should have done the right thing. And stuck with your original choice. And took time away from the both of you. Actually, I can get behind that decision too. All of this jealousy stuff uh, further adds to the situation because now it's showing that we're both having some uh, faults that can't just be worked out by uh, talking. Jesus Christ, you need a Metamucil or something? <laughs> Get your shit together, Jay! So, Neptune harassing Anita isn't Neptune's fault, but the fault of Jay and or Anita. What's a great message to send. Your ex is going out of her way to antagonize me, and you're just letting it slide? Evidently. Can we move on? I know I said you'd be more direct when I first confronted Ty, and now I know I should not tell Nap about your relationship, but I like to brag about you because I'm so happy to have you. And again, Neptune is to blame for Neptune harassing you. You said you never say anything you don't mean, but I feel like that isn't 100% true. I don't want to break up, but maybe some space would be good. But if you do want to break up, there's not a whole lot I can do to stop that. Amateur. Amateur. I do love you. That hasn't changed for me. Glug. Uh, a break would be best. For one reason only. She isn't, uh, the only ex that I'm in contact with. And when the others show up, I know what's going to happen, and you aren't going to be able to uh, take much more of it. I mean, not with that attitude. That's bullshit. You're bullshit. Stand up for your woman, you limp noodle. There are a lot of things we both need to uh, work on uh, for this to work. Uh, How's that Metamucil coming, Jay? You need to work on growing a spine. The only issue that needs to be worked out is that you're not telling your exes from the get-go when they come to harass me. My feelings were completely valid given the circumstances. That's not the point here. Yes, it is. You're deflecting. Uh, well, yeah. They were valid. That still doesn't negate the fact that things uh, need to be worked on uh, if this is ever going to properly uh, worm. Worm. I love it when they Freudian slip and sport themselves. Remain, are you listening to me? Didn't you hear her when she said she was on her way to see her friend or was your head too far up your own ass? I think it's likely we'll break it. I think they're a bigger fish to fry like Remain missing a bloody train. I don't know how I should feel like now. I feel like you should shut the fuck up and stop wittering on about this. Everything is just crumbling. Boo, fucking who? I love him so much, but this is just so hard. Glug. No! I mean, wasn't such a wishy word it's really so nice to kill the rest him defend him in this one name me nasty. Yeah, and if wishes were horses, you'd shut the fuck up because you'd have been trampled to death. By horses.
If I think I think it's cute, I wouldn't say that I really say to him. We're not your personal therapists and neither is Romaine. And even asking to get tired with her, I was so scared. You know I hate asking that sort of thing. Dude, I really can't listen to this right now. I'd like to just go and enjoy brunch with my friend. We're friend, and you can't talk to me about your panic. Whoa, not cool. You're a shitty person, Anita. Yeah, I'm glad Miss Akuma isn't like that. She's not nearly as bad as you. Oh, thank you, sweetie. By the way, we're inviting ourselves to brunch. Hope you don't mind. When he says he wouldn't unless he crossed the land, I stepped back and didn't push it. Isn't coming up to you to shit-talk him and undermine your faith in your relationship crossing a line? Why would that be crossing a line? Shut the fuck up. I mean, he should stand up for you. He should have, but he didn't even get the slightest bit upset. He said he was talking to her about it. Maybe she's right. Maybe I will never have him like she does. Not with that attitude. Here's my question. Why the fuck do we care? I mean, seriously. Why should we care about you or your romance troubles? All you ever do is pop up and pad the show with more drama as if we even needed it. Seriously, this has got to be the worst episode we have ever filmed. I really, really hope you still feel that way in a month or two. Don't worry, darling. At your worst, you could never annoy me as much as Anita. Challenge accepted! <sighs> Maybe she's just trying to get inside your head and make you doubt yourself. Maybe none of this is worth your time or energy and you should just bloody go to lunch. Anyway, why is he putting this on you? I don't know. He's used to this type of thing. Ex is coming to bash on current girlfriends. Why would he allow that to become a pattern? Why does he attract crazy broad? Why is he collecting exes who come to sabotage his relationships? Gotta catch them all. Is that your stance on STIs? Ew, what the fuck? Ableist! Um, no. Keeping yourself safe in bed and with needles and stuff is actually really fucking important, and more sh people should be aware of that. Yes, but I believe that no disease is shameful no matter how you get it. You can believe whatever you want, it doesn't make it so. I personally can't wait for science to advance far enough to make STIs more of a non-issue. Seriously though, you'd think Neptune's nonsense there would be a real friendship breaker for Jay. I swear to God, he could be a character and Gossip Girl. Probably Nate Archibald. Why he ain't stand up for his girlfriends? The reason he has so many exes who come back with complaints is probably because he doesn't stand up for any of them. Brother needs a spy. Agreed, when Henry and Camper sent. These girls need therapy. Yeah, I mean, I'm friends with one of Meta's exes. We've never threatened each other or anything, and you know what a possessive psycho I am. Yep, and with this whole situation, I feel myself very slowly becoming with myself. Right, because you need a reason. I even told Jay I was willing to let her watch us have sex if that would make her back up. Kinky! What the fuck, though? I mean, some people are into that. Exhibit A! Where did you come from? Craft services! I've been there this whole time, lurking. Listening. Cory, why can't you be this kind of creepy all the time? That was delightful. Thank you, random commentary? She's crew, actually. And who the fuck are you? Audience? Excellent. I love a good audience. Notice me. Love me. Word. I was that desperate. You must be desperate if you haven't kicked his spineless ass to the curb yet. I plan to tell Jay that he's the one who has facts to work on, not me. I mean, technically every person has flaws they need to work on. That he can't just check it after being used to it and needs to learn to stand up for me when this happens and that he can't let any of his exes get away with this. That includes the one I already encountered. If he's not willing to, I'm going to break up with him. I can't deal with this. Not with that attitude. And it's something I shouldn't have to deal with in the first place. If he wants to be with you, he needs to demand that his exes show you some respect. Exactly. If he's unable or unwilling to do so, he doesn't deserve me. I agree. I wouldn't wish you on anyone, but that's beside the point. He's being a bad boyfriend. Absolutely. I love him. Glug. But I'm not putting up with this shit. He needs to make a choice. If he does truly love me too, he has to be ready and willing to do what it takes to prove that. Within reason. He needs to at least be a gentleman and show you respect by asking his exes to show you respect. Yeah, I wouldn't go to an ex's new girlfriend all psycho. Yeah, that's because you have class and are mature.
be gone. I tried to get him not to ship his character with hers. I was so desperate. I'm sure if that happened, she would go and rub it in my face. RP is a personal preference thing, like, on the one hand, it can get pretty intimate and some people might be uncomfortable with their partners participating in that kind of thing, but on the other hand, RP is in real life. To be honest, I think Jay gets his ego stroked having women go crazy and fight over him. You aren't far off the mark. Oh, really? He doesn't like the drama or the fighting part. Of course not, because that's uncomfortable and he's expected to do something. But I've known him to enjoy that sort of thing in the past, back when we first started being friends. Oh dear, he hadn't grown out of it. That's unfortunate. I can't say for sure if that's still true or not. He isn't acting like he does this time. It's really reading that way by his refusal to act. You make a good point. I wish I could completely and utterly ban Neptune from my sight without Jay being able to find out. You could IP ban her and claim it's a clerical error. Yeah, but the edit load would show who accessed the admin panel and did that, which Jay could see. Well, that sucks. Plus, I already did try banning her from the chat server. Jay found out and had me reverse it because I did it on account of personal drama. And as the owner, that's super unprofessional. I am not really able to side with Jay here. Yeah. He should side with you, especially since these girls are harassing you. It's only one so far, but I agree. Also, banning people who harass people isn't actually unprofessional. I was only banning her from the server, not the site. Dude, not the point! Boy, I've been watching you like a hawk in the sky that fly, and you are my prey. Boy, I promise you, if we keep bumping heads, you know that one of these days, we gon' hook it up, probably talk on the phone, but see, I don't know if that's good. I've been holding back this secret from you, I probably shouldn't tell it, boy, but if I let you know, you can't tell nobody, I'm talking about nobody. Are you responsible? Boy, I gotta watch my back, cause I'm not just anybody. Is it my goal or is it your goal? Sometimes I'm goody goody, right now I'm naughty naughty. Say yes or say no, cause I really need somebody. Tell me how that's somebody, boy. Won't you pick me up at the park right now, up the block while everyone sleeps, sleep, sleep. 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 I'll be waiting there with my trench, my lobes, my hat, just so I'm low-key. If you tell the world, you know that we'll be weak. Oh boy, see I'm just in you with my heart, my soul, I probably shouldn't let you know. But if I let this go, you can tell nobody, I'm talking about nobody. I hope you're responsible, boy, I gotta watch my back, cause I'm not just anybody. Is it my goal or is it your goal? Sometimes I'm goody goody, right now I'm naughty naughty. Say yes or say no, cause I really need somebody, tell me you done somebody. Cause I really need somebody, tell me you that somebody. If I let this go, you I'm can't tell nobody, I'm talking about nobody. Are you responsible? Boy, I gotta watch my back, cause I'm not just anybody. Is it my goal or is it your goal? Sometimes I'm goody goody, right now I'm naughty naughty. Say yes or say no, I really need somebody, tell me that somebody.